Hey there, this is Handyman007, and about a year ago, I published a video about a type of shoe storage which I think was and is better than the common shoe rack. Okay, while a shoe rack keeps footwear from being scattered all over the floor, this storage solution allows for even better organization and protection against dust, heat, and water. And protection is particularly important if you leave your outdoor footwear, well, outdoor. However, after a year of using this, I observed a few pain points. First, the metallic components have rusted over time, which kind of decreases the appeal of the system. Second, the boxes are not big enough to comfortably fit slightly bigger shoes, which causes an irritating snag whenever we slide the drawers. And third, the round finger handles actually doubles as a passage for dust and dirt to fly through which meant I've had to perform general cleaning every 3 to 4 months. These factors combined caused us to use the storage system less and less and to eventually revert to our old habits. But wait, the good news is I found a similar modular shoe storage system but with a much better design that addresses these pain points. So in this video, I'm going to share with you where I purchased it, for how much, how to assemble it, and why I think it's way better than our first version. So, out with the old and in with the new. Okay, before I show you the assembly steps to get to this configuration, let's first get your obvious questions out of the way. First, where did I buy it? I purchased it from Lazada using the search phrase, large stackable shoe storage boxes. As expected, there were hundreds of results that came back, but as I was perusing one after the other, I found myself particularly interested in this product design. Which leads to the second question, why this product design? Well. All the components are made of ABS and PP plastic, which means there are no metallic parts that can rust. It also doesn't require clips to hold its box-like shape. In contrast, our version 1 came with clips that attach to the corners of the box to make the structure rigid. Unfortunately, some of the clips tend to come loose or crack over time. Also, unlike our version 1, which has catch holes that serve as handles, this has a solid, transparent flip cover with an actual handle at the top center. So if it has no holes, it means less dust. Also, this specific listing was selling a 10-piece set for only 915 pesos, shipping cost not included. Therefore, a single box cost 91 pesos and 50 cents, which I found cheaper compared with other listings of the same design. Third, why this size? Well, as I explained earlier, our version 1 wasn't big enough to fit certain footwear like high-cut rubber shoes, high heels, and boots. This on the other hand is 17.5 cm tall, 24.5 cm wide, and 33.5 cm long. In other words, it has ample space to accommodate most adult footwear. And while there may be even bigger boxes sold out there, I found the dimensions of this box just right for our needs and yet still being sold at a very fair price. I bought two sets of 10, making a total of 20 boxes. And as soon as they were delivered about three days later, I was relieved that each pack included this installation instructions. So let me show you how to assemble one, following each step. There are only two pieces needed to assemble the box. Its front frame where the transparent flip cover is attached and its body. So here we go. I suggest folding the body flat on its other side first, like so. This helps the body create right angles on all sides, making it easier to do the rest of the steps. Punch out all the perforated squares. There should be a total of 4 and you won't need these anymore.
Before snapping on the frame, make sure that the side with these semicircle perforations is always oriented towards the bottom in relation to the flip cover. Inverting the orientation will make it impossible to connect two or more boxes into a row or column later on. There you go, one down, 19 to go. I had already assembled the rest of the boxes off camera, but in the meantime, let me answer two more relevant questions you might have. What is the max number of boxes can we connect horizontally or in a row? 126 boxes. This is equivalent to about 46.5 yards. And what is the max number of boxes can we stack into a column? 10 boxes, as advertised. And while I only stacked mine to a height of 6 boxes, I've actually seen others stack theirs to the max of 10. And anything more than 10 will deform or crush the bottom boxes because their structural integrity won't be enough to withstand the sheer weight. Now, if you intend to attach two or more boxes together to form a row, a column, or a combination of both, we need to assemble the row or rows first. And this is how you build a basic one row and one column configuration. Now, to arrive at this staircase structure, I simply created these rows first, then stacked them from the bottom up. I hoisted everything on this wooden platform so that even the bottom row has some elevation and isn't too hard to reach. Because our kids are relatively shorter, they are assigned to the lower boxes, which are closer to their height, while the upper boxes are assigned to myself and my wife. Notice also that I have positioned the structure near and on the left side of the entryway, which makes it still accessible even if the gate was opened. 12 boxes are more than sufficient for our needs here. So, where are the remaining 8 boxes? Well. I repurposed three as additional storage for our kids' toys and stuff while I placed the last five in a strategic location inside the house to hold all our indoor slippers. I hope you were able to get some ideas and inspiration from this video to solve your own shoe storage dilemma. And with that, I'll bring this video to a close. This is Handyman007 and you can do this.